I'm Diana and this is Todd. Tonight is a faculty musicale. It's from 7.30 to 9 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. A ton of purple teachers will be there showing their talent. Check out some of the performers from last year and what teachers will be doing this year. <laughs> Musical. I'm going to be playing uh, a couple pieces that I wrote, uh, playing and singing, kind of singer-songwriter stuff. Um, also going to be hosting. Hi, I'm Mr. Paul, and I'm uh, singing in a band. I'm playing bass guitar and doing a little bit of backup vocals. I am playing drums. I'm playing guitar in a band, and we don't have a name. It's a no-name band. I will be performing two different songs. Thanks, Brody, Rizzy, Matt, and Maurice for that. Social studies teacher Ms. Ross will be returning after midterms, so although we will be welcoming Ms. Ross back, unfortunately Mr. Brennan will not be with us much longer. Charlotte got some video of him talking about why he wanted to become a history teacher. Take a look. I had previous jobs in which I felt that I could give back more to the students, come back, help guide the future of tomorrow. I had a couple reasons for being a history teacher. One was it happened to be my most favorite subject, the one I'm most passionate about. My father was a history teacher here as well at Hopewell and I was able to see all that he was able to do and give back to the kids and how much it was appreciated. And having young kids of my own, I want other people to experience that and be able to carry that forward as well. Thank you so much, Mr. Brennan, for this past year. Hopewell hopes to see you soon again. Now here are Joey and Rizzi with the sports. What's up, Hopewell? This past week has been a very action-packed week in Hopewell sports. Monday, hockey beat Princeton 5-2. On Tuesday, boys and girls swimming both beat Nottingham. Boys basketball lost to Trenton. Girls basketball played Trenton on Tuesday also. It was a neck-and-neck -neck game the entire game, and it went into overtime. Kara Hageman made a shot with four seconds left to put Hopewell up by three. Trenton came back to make a buzzer beater to tie the game and send it in overtime. Hopewell came through in the overtime and won 68-63. Hopewell hasn't beaten Trenton in nine years. This makes them undefeated with 11 wins. Here's Alec Bruns and Phil Andrelostro with the call. Here's Williams on a fast break. Williams dishes over to Tangway. Oh, boom, shaka locked down. <laughs> and the game is over. Hopewell wins. It's all over now, Hope folks. Well it's all over wins. now. Hopewell wins. We'll see you guys on Tuesday night for the boys basketball Hope game. Hopewell wins by the score of 68 to 63. What a competitive game. By what a great game fans. by these two teams. We'll see you on Tuesday game. night. Boys basketball game. Hope this is Phil Angelastro and Alec Brun signing out. Good night, Hopewell Valley. Good night, Hopewell. That was by far the goofiest group of commentators ever to perform at a high school <laughs> event. Yes, indeed. Anyway, Wednesday, wrestling robbed Notre Dame. Hockey lost to Princeton 4-1. to one. Tonight's games are hockey plays at Paul the Sixth at 5. Girls basketball is home against Allentown at 5.30. Boys are away at Allentown at 7 o'clock. Saturday's games are boys basketball away at Montgomery High School against Watchung Hills at 2.30. At 10 o'clock, boys and girls indoor track have their Levino relays. Boys and girls swimming have their newcomers meet. Wrestling has a quad home meet against Trenton, West Windsor South, and Ewing. And this past week, I went around the school interviewing people about their NFL playoff predictions. Let's take a look. Who's going to win the NFC Championship game? 49ers. Got to go with the Giants. The Giants. The Mets. Giants. Giants. 49ers. The New York Football Giants. 49ers. Giants. Giants. AFC Championship game. Uh, I'll take the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens. Patriots. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Ravens. Giants. 49ers. Patriots. The Giants. Patriots. Well, I'm taking the G-Men. Oh, I got my boy T. Brady in the Pats. Well, that's it for sports. Let's send it back over to Tatiana and Diana. Thanks, guys. Get off of me. Here are some few seniors who have something to say. Go. Hey, Hopewell Valley, I'm Ashley Trufa. I'm Amber Wolfinger. And I'm Ben Daflo. And, wait, uh, uh, whatever. Anyway. All right, so we just wanted to let you all know that we're graduating half, half a semester early, and we're real excited about it. Along that. with Kayla Hasse. Along with Kayla Hasse. She'll be joining us shortly. And uh, we just wanted to thank Hopewell Valley for all the wonderful, wonderful times we've had here, the unforgettable times. The unmentionable. The things we just won't forget from our wonderful three and a half years of Things we don't want to go back to. Yeah, exactly. So. Oh, yeah. We wanted to let you all know what we're going to be doing once we graduate. 
I'll be studying in college for psychology and criminal justice. I'll be starting college to become an English teacher. And I'll be traveling traveling to Israel for five months to practice martial arts and, and you know participate in a martial arts fitness program and then come back to start college at Rowan University to become a doctor. And Kayla Hasi will be starting psychology courses through Mercer while working for the next semester. So we just wanted to say thank you Hopewell Valley. Have a good one. Have a good one. Woo! Don't forget yeah! us. Yeah! Yeah! All right. Good luck in everything you do guys. We're gonna miss you saving people Ben. Ms. Donardo and Zach Clem were going to play at the Faculty Music Hall as well, but unfortunately Ms. Donardo will not be able to perform. So here's a video of them playing in the studio. <laughs> 